Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much, you too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I was so excited. Money. You would have or you wouldn't have? If I got the pick at the very beginning. Oh, oh, you know what? No, that's not true. It would have been Denise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Denise, tell us how you were chosen to be on. Oh, Stacy's going to position you. Can you tell us how you were chosen to be on Survivor? You know, I applied, actually. I, you know, I've been a fan of the game for years and years and years since season one, and I'd applied actually two years ago. Never heard back, decided last year, you know what, I want to do this again. And so I just thought, you know, got home from work, I knew the deadline was coming up. Mm -hmm. Sat down, I was going to go for a run, put on my running clothes, put on my do-rag, sat down, hit the button, started, just started talking, and luck of the draw, they, they saw something they liked, and the process just started unfolding, so I'm just so thankful. And so, were you a longtime fan? Huge. I mean, we've, we've watched since season one. We've missed pockets here and there just because of life and family things and, and starting our family, And but oh my gosh, and now our daughter, you know, in the last several years has started watching right along with us, and she's mm -hmm. just as much of a fan of the game as we are, so it's great. great. How did you use your professional skills in the game? You know, the, being a therapist just comes right into the game, because every day, I mean, I build relationships, that's what I do, I'm building relationships over and over again with clients that I talk about, or talk with, and, you know, new clients that come in, and it's the game, I mean, you go out there and that's what you're doing, I mean, there's such a huge social piece, and so I was used to just sitting there and talking and pulling out information and, and listening and not necessarily giving a lot of myself, you know, away or out there. I didn't, you know, give a lot of my strategy away. I knew what it was, but I just was listening and taking it in. So I think it really helped a lot. So what cover story did you give for being away? You know, that was, and that was hard, but I had to come up with something that sounded plausible. So I went mm -hmm. to a training in Florida, okay. a really intensive training with mentors that I just couldn't, you know, couldn't miss out on. And I chose Florida because I thought that way if I come back, with the tan I'll be good to go and if I come back with bug bites I'll just say you know I skipped out on training a lot or we went on some tour to you know mm -hmm. in the swampland or something um, so I was I was supposedly in Florida for a seven week long training oh, okay and, yeah. well, I have to tell you when you were running over that bamboo uh, with your bare feet I was cringing. Oh, my so, gosh. Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, I didn't. You know, your feet get so toughened up. I mean, I walk around, and even at home, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a barefoot flip-flop in the middle of winter in Iowa kind of person. Mm -hmm. And so your feet just kind of toughen up out there, and so you get used to it. I mean, it's hot, but it, it nope, never got any major cuts or, I mean, in all of the challenges that we did. Wow. I yeah, nothing major other than my my good old bang bang. And, and what came of that? You know, we we just assume we we don't still to this day we don't. There's no way to know what it was that that bit me. We assume it might have been a centipede, and it just luckily over you know over the period of the day just kind of dissipated. And you know, by later that afternoon, I could I could lift my arm up again and. It was, it was pretty scary, though. That took a scary. lot of courage not to run for medical. Oh, my gosh. And, well, and medical checks you out, uh, mm -hmm. but all I could do is say, basically, you know, can you breathe? You know, are you swelling? I'm like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Like, does my tongue have to be, like, dangling out of my mouth? But, but you know, number one, I didn't want, I didn't, I definitely didn't want to hear them say, you know, okay. we need to take you out. And so I was, I was able to breathe and, okay. and move, so I was good to Denise, go. it was just a phenomenal pleasure to watch you play and to watch a super awesome. fan like you this season. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. It was just an honor to be able to play. I mean, to think there's, there's this handful of people who have gotten this experience and to go, oh my gosh. I'm one of them. Like I get goose. I just get. I just got goose. But like I am one of the people who have got to play this game from start to finish, full experience. So it's and set a record not, doing that. I set think set a record. <laughs> Crazy. Not the not the awesome. record I was planning to do. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you so much, Denise. Okay. So much you too. Thank you. It's great to talk. Okay. To you. Yeah. You take care. Thank you. Good luck to you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? I'm a hugger. Thank you. Yeah. Me too. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Thanks, Mallory.